Hello, I'm Dr. Rudy Merck. I'm the CEO of Valencia International, and I'm here to talk to it about an exciting new product called Prostate 360. Now, Prostate 360 is a new formula that combines capsule and capsule technology, and it contains the most potent ingredients available today for prostate health. One of those ingredients is US Plus Saw Palmetto. It's the only saw palmetto oil available on the planet that is patented. In fact, there are two patents, both use patents and composition of matter patents. And this product is an ultra high pressure product made with our uh, deep extract technology. And this technology gives you a extraction process that is so intense and so uh, penetrating of the saw palmetto berries that you get an oil that has a very deep rich color and contains micronutrients that are not contained in yellow or ordinary saw uh, palmetto extracts. Now, why is that important? Because micronutrients like lutein, uh, beta carotene, uh, chlorophyll, and, and things like that are healthy ingredients that help promote general health and prostate health. We add the cranberol because, first of all, it is not the same cranberry that's associated with urinary tract health in women. This is an extract of the seed. It turns out the seed is very magic in the sense that it has omega-3s in it, but it also contains a very large amount of phytosterols. And some of you might have learned or have read on the internet that phytosterols are one of the key components of saw palmetto that help with benign prostate hyperplasia. And uh, the phytosterols in cranberol are 10 times higher than in normal uh, saw palmetto, including US plus saw palmetto. So that's a good thing because phytosterols prevent the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Uh, and the enzyme that's associated with that is 5-alpha reductase. The other component of this formula, which is rather unique, is lycopene. First of all, we know that lycopene is not stable in saw palmetto oil. Saw palmetto oil is a very acidic, harsh oil that will destroy lycopene in a matter of weeks. There are products on the market today, believe it or not that have saw palmetto mixed with lycopene in liquid formulas, and these products have shelf life of about two weeks. And we've monitored this, and the amount of lycopene goes down dramatically. What we've done is we've created a product where we have a capsule and capsule technology where the lycopene is inside a capsule, liquid lycopene, inside a capsule, inside another capsule containing salt palmetto and cranberry oil on the outside. And this keeps those two apart until the capsule reaches the stomach and the duodenum. Duodenum is your main absorbing uh, part of the upper intestine. And there, the capsules dissolve, the lycopene is released, the cranberol is released, the salt palmetto is released. They don't interact at that point because the duodenum is only about a foot long, and in, in that area, most of these things are immediately absorbed. It turns out lycopene is the one carotenoid that is extremely fat soluble because it is a hydrocarbon. Us chemists call that a hydrocarbon. It has no oxygens on it, it has no nitrogens, it doesn't have what we call polar groups. Therefore, it will be very soluble in fatty tissues. Now, uh, we're not talking about beer bellies here, we're talking about the prostate, and the prostate being so, so uh, fat, uh, fatty, it will selectively deposit in the prostate. There was a very interesting study conducted in Boston a few years ago, and we call it the pizza study. Now, this pizza study showed that men that ate pizza generally have incredibly less prostate cancer. And you have to question, why is that? But I did want to say that because if a man has enlarged prostate or benign prostate hyperplasia, it does not mean he will get prostate cancer. That's a completely different thing. But it could lead to prostate cancer, and therefore 
if men are started having discomfort with their prostate, trouble urinating, uh, pain in that area, et cetera, they should go to their physician and get that checked out. But if it's benign pro prostate hyperplasia, the word benign, of course, prostate hyperplasia just simply means enlarged, does not mean cancer. But, if, but in this study, it turns out that men in pizza just had less prostate cancer. Well, why is that? It's not the cheese, we know that. It's not the pasta. It's probably the lycopene that is doing that from the tomato sauce. It's also well known and documented in the literature that lycopene is much more bioavailable from tomato sauce, tomatoes that have been cooked, rather than from tomatoes itself. If you eat a tomato, a raw tomato, you're not gonna get a lot of lycopene in your, in your system. It's best to cook the tomatoes. But back to the prostate. Now, one other vitamin in your diet is selectively absorbed by the prostate. It's also a very fat-soluble uh, vitamin, and that's vitamin E. And regardless of the type of vitamin E, if you take a lot of vitamin E, it will concentrate in the prostate. And is that a good thing? It's probably a bad thing. Now, if you take a vitamin E supplement, a low-level vitamin E supplement, that's probably okay. But keep this in mind. Virtually all the processed food that you eat will contain some vitamin E as a preservative. It's commonly used in baked goods and in other prepared foods uh, to keep those foods from oxidizing. Okay? So if you eat those foods, you will also absorb more vitamin E. And you really have to look at your intake of vitamin E. So the vitamin E will actually concentrate in the prostate. And here's the bad news about that. The bad news is that if vitamin E concentrates in the, in the prostate, it's going to turn pro-oxidative, oxidative. Now, what is that? Vitamin E is also an unsaturated string of unsaturated uh, double bonds in chemistry. You may be familiar with polyunsaturated oils. Well, vitamin E is very similar to those. And what happens is if a free radical or a singlet oxygen hits those double bonds, it can quench them, and that's its antioxidant effect but it also can form a stable free radical because that molecule, the double bonds in this molecule are situated in such a way that that radical can spread over several carbon atoms and just sit there humming away until it finds something to react with. And if that's some of your DNA, if that's some of your protein, if that's some molecule which then later on can do damage to your prostate, that's not a good thing. You don't want stable free radicals. You want them to be quenched. Well, it turns out when they studied men that ate, ate uh, diets very rich in lycopene, tomato sauce, cooked tomato sauce, lycopene supplements, eating pizza, uh, it turns out that the ratio of vitamin E to lycopene varied in men depending on how much tomato products they ate. Now, normally, the ratio is about 160 to 1. That's 160 vitamin E's to one lycopene. And lycopene can quench this stable free radical that's formed uh, in vitamin E. So there's two ways of reducing your risk associated with too much vitamin E in that fatty gland called your prostate. And those are A, take less vitamin E, B, and I, I recommend not taking mega doses of vitamin E. Take a normal, reasonable uh, RDI dose. And also evaluate the other foods you're eating. The second thing is eat more lycopene. And change that ratio of lycopene to uh, vitamin E. And try to get it way below 161. Our product, Prostate 360, helps you with that because it combines a known product for prostate health known, called uh, US Plus Salt Palmetto, along with a protected encapsulated lycopene, which then can be, uh, go into your digestive system and selectively get deposited in your prostate. Now, that's a good thing. It also acts as a 
antioxidant uh, throughout your system, throughout fatty tissue. It keeps uh, low density lipoproteins from oxidizing. That may have some benefits in, in heart health. Uh, and, and, and so this is a really good approach to take, and this is why we created this formula.